This is a 1957 Chrysler 300C, part of the 300 series of cars, also known as letter cars. Being the Chrysler 300C, my nickname for this car is Sea Biscuit. This car was, for 1957, the fastest American production car you could buy that was standard production. This is the 392 cubic inch, 375 horse Hemi engine. This Hemi engines had been in Chrysler products since 1950, I believe, or 51 in a smaller version, but by 1957 they grew to 392 cubic inches. They called this the elephant motor for good reason. The heads are enormous, the whole engine is enormous and very, very, very heavy. This is a fairly low option car in that most letter cars for Chrysler were the very top of the line. They had opulent interiors, big engines. They called them bankers hot rods because the banker was the only one that could afford it. And with the big engine, that's how it got that nickname. This has leather interior, leather upholstery, nice door panels, but this one's unusual in that it doesn't have power seats, doesn't have power windows, and that's very unusual. Almost every letter car had power accessories. This one's odd in that it's very stripped down. However, it does have a highway hi-fi, and that's a record player under the dash that was offered in 56 and 57, and it plays 16 and 2 thirds RPM records. I have a complete set of those records, as well as several of those highway hi-fis for my cars. You wonder if they skip when you drive? Yes, they do. <laughs> you hope for smooth roads and then you get smooth music. The speedometer on this car goes up to 150 miles an hour. Now I don't recall exactly, but in 1957 at Daytona, on the sands of Daytona Beach, this car went something like 145-ish miles an hour, right in that neighborhood. They came in hard tops, two-door hard tops as this one is, or convertible. That was the only two styles they made in letter cars in this particular year. That changed from year to year a little bit. The second owner of this car died in, I believe it was about 2003. His eldest son then inherited his father's collection of cars but he drove his little brother to the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and his little brother bought this World's Fair sticker and stuck it in the back window. When we restored the car, we were careful to keep that sticker in the window and clean and polish the glass all around it without disturbing that, that World's Fair sticker. So it really is a nice piece of history on this car. This car has competed in AACA events and has achieved a level of senior national award winner. It will be vying for a grand national yet this summer and it is here today competing in the 10,000 Lakes Concorde Elegance to be a class winner.